Hi, welcome to this new video about messages exchange in the SEPA credit transfer scheme. Videos about PAX 8, PAX 4 and CAM 56 are already available on the channel. This video is about the CAM 29. It is important to get the overview of all the messages exchanged in the SEPA credit transfer classic scheme so that we can locate the CAM 29 and the parties that exchange it. After that, I will present you the CAM 29 identity card. This is the funny part. <laughs> what is the name of the CAM 29? When was it born? And what is its place of residence? After that, we'll talk about the CAM 29 message structure in building blocks. Then we'll consider the following question. Why is the CAM 29 message needed? And we'll end the presentation with a focus on the CAM 29 reason codes, where we will see that not all possible reason codes can be used in SEPA. So let's begin with the overview of the messages that are found in the SCT implementation guidelines document. The CAM 29.1.3 is highlighted in green color below. It is sent by the beneficiary bank to the debtor bank. And that's always the case in the SEPA credit transfer scheme. The CAM 29 is always generated and sent by the beneficiary bank to the debtor bank. So if you work on receiving a CAM 29, then you must be on the debtor bank side. And if you are sending it, then you are on the creditor bank side. So again, the direction of the message is crucial in payments. The CAM 29 is always sent by the creditor bank and consequently always received by the debtor bank. Keeping this in mind can be helpful when you work on processes or test scenarios, for example. Now, let's get acquainted with the CAM 29. The CAM 29 is called Resolution of Investigation. In SEPA, the version 3, so CAM 29.1.3 is used, but in the ISO 2022 standards, you can see that the version 8 is already available. So the ISO 2022 is five versions ahead of SEPA. But, you know, if the version 3 is okay for the SEPA needs, it shouldn't be a problem. In SEPA, the CAM 29 is a message exchanged in the interbank space, either between two banks or between a bank and a clearing system. But as we can see in the ISO 2022 documentation, the CAM 29 message can also be exchanged in the customer to bank space. Like the PAX 8 and PAX 4 and CAM 56 that we have already uh, seen, the CAM 29 was born on March 30th, 2009, and put into its place of residence the message definition report. The file name is ENI Maintenance 2009.pdf. ENI stands for Exception and Investigations. That file can be downloaded from the ISO 2022 website. With the CAM 56, the debtor bank takes the creditor bank to the SEPA court by assigning a case. The data bank is the case creator and the creditor bank is the case assignee. The CAM 29 is used by the creditor bank to negatively respond to a request of cancellation message of an original payment instruction that was received. It does not make the funds move in the interbank space. So the CAM 29 is just an information. The creditor bank says to the debtor bank, I'm not sending you the funds back. Unlike in real court, it is not possible to make an appeal. <laughs> the debtor bank just have to accept it. If any other action must be undertaken by the debtor bank or by its customer, it will be outside the SEPA framework and scheme. But there are possibilities. Now, how does a CAM 29 message look like? What is its structure? Let's move to the next slide. The resolution of investigation message is composed of seven building blocks. Wow! 
seven building blocks. That's quite a lot. But as we will see, many of them are not allowed for use in the SEPA core scheme. The first block, case assignment, is mandatory and contains assignment information. The second block, resolved case, is optional in ISO 2022 but not allowed for use in SEPA core. The third block, status, is mandatory. Here, however, only the status RGCR is allowed for use in SEPA. RGCR stands for Rejected Cancellation Request. It just means that the cancellation request is rejected. The next block, Cancellation Details, is optional and repetitive. But in SEPA, at least one transaction information and status block is expected inside this block. The block statement details is optional in ISO 2022 and not allowed for use in SEPA core. Same thing for the next two blocks, the correction transaction and the resolution related information blocks. Now, what do we learn from all this? SEPA usage of the resolution of investigation message is very limited. The COM29 can carry a lot of information for many other purposes, but SEPA does not allow it. The ISO 2022 standard is therefore very rich, but in the SEPA area, like many other regions in the world, only a subset of all the possibilities are needed and therefore used. It is of course interesting to see why SEPA made this choice. And also how the same message is used in other countries in the world. Now you may wonder why the CAM29 is really needed. Well, if you have seen the previous videos, you probably recall this sentence, only the PAX-8 will be needed in an ideal world. But there is no process without exception. The CAM29 message is generated to respond to a CAM 56 message that is itself sent as a result of exception handling. So it is an exception handling message. Many exceptions can occur during the processing of the credit transfer on the debtor bank side. For example, the debtor may send a payment by mistake or the same payment may be sent twice because of technical error on the debtor bank side. Or payment can be initiated fraudulently. When above situation occur, the debtor bank can request the creditor bank to send the money back. And this is done by sending a CAM56 cancellation request message as we saw in previous video. Now, after receiving the CAM56, the creditor bank has 10 business days to answer. In case it wants to send a negative response, it will generate and send a CAM29 message. In the CAM29, the creditor bank provides the reason why the cancellation request is rejected. And this brings us to the next topic, the CAM29 reason codes. In the SEPA implementation guidelines, you find all the reason codes that are allowed in SEPA in the CAM29 message. You find them in the implementation guidelines, interbank imp implementation guidelines, of course. After the interbank negative answer to a recall of credit transfer data set description, and under the paragraph message element specification, it is important to note that the reason codes that you see here on the right are the ones that are allowed for use in SEPA. The exhaustive list of reason codes are available in the external code sets spreadsheet that we can download from the ISO 2022 website. I have already shown you in previous videos how um, we can do that. Now let's just look at the spreadsheet itself. I have already downloaded it. So all the rejection, the cancellation rejection code that can be used according to the ISO 2022 that are found here. So when we go here, we see there are 
14 reason codes that can be used. But in SEPA, I think we have, we have seven, I think, seven or eight. You can take a closer look. You know, it's pretty straightforward generally to understand why some of the reason codes here are not uh, allowed in SEPA. Great. So that's it for today. That's what I wanted to tell you about the CAM 29 message. That's the end of this presentation. If you have any question, just post a comment below the video. If you found the presentation useful, you can like the video and subscribe to the channel. You can also go to paymentor.com and subscribe to the newsletter to receive regular updates about articles and video. Take care and see you soon on the channel.